And welcome back to the long run where we are playing Lunar Silver Star Harmony. Last time we entered the realm of the Red Dragon. And the Red Dragon himself, presumably, has uh, tasked us with our second of the Dragon Trials. So let's not disappoint him. Let's get going. That doesn't look like the way forward. So many blob slimes. Also, why are they blob slimes? They really should be slime blobs. Yes! Blizzard! That is a good spell to use here. Thank you. Let's clear out this entire mess. Until there is neither blob nor slime remaining. Oh goody! More blob slimes. Jessica kicking even more ass than she previously was. It's kinda great actually. Yeah, you, you, you usually don't fire a bow from point blank range. Generally you want to stand back a few uh a few yalums. God dang it. In this box we get 10,000 monies. No! Now we're running into this fight for sure. No! Haha! <laughs> Juke! In your face! Oh jeez. Another starlight. Another starlight. Um. Hmm. So is this what you meant? That I need to just... Rah! Ow, ow, ow! Doesn't this ever end? Wait, what's that? What the hell is that? Don't let your guard down, Alex. Oh, you. Such impatience. Couldn't you at least have the courtesy to wait until I had a proper trap prepared? You're really wearing my nerves thin, honey bomb. I think it's time you left. 
If it were only that easy for you, my cross-dressing foe, I'm not going anywhere. Then perhaps we'll, have, we'll just have to show you the door. I'm afraid I don't have the time to enjoy your quasi-adorable antics. If my little pets here do their job, that won't be a problem in the future. Alex, what are those things? Be careful, everyone. These are these guardians are made of, pu of pure magic. All right, time to assume manual control. Also, the one in the bottom is about to breathe fire here, so that's pretty great. Uh, so start with vigor. Uh, what can you... Do you have anything that can hit both of them without... You know what? Let's go with Thunder Rain. Um... You can go with Iris Sledge. James Bond Death Trap it is. And now shield on the healer. And self strength up. Alright. Yeah, that one's even flashier than the uh, than the other regular attack. Super Saiyan up as well. Thank you. Hopefully this same to... Okay, that wasn't terrible. I mean, that still did a lot of damage to Nash and he's almost dead. But, um... That could definitely have been worse. Alright, Zephyr Blade. Uh, you're going to... Riot, maybe? Yeah, let's just spend our resources here. Uh, you're going to heal Nash. Mist Berry sounds good. And Shine Blade. That was pretty shiny, yeah. That's striking Kyle. Uh-oh. Ooh! Saved himself there. Thank you. I give everyone a defense boost. Zephyr Blade up next. Finally getting around to healing Nash. And now we can get around to um, Mia doing her ice attacks. 
What the hell is this? Dragon Guard? Neutralize magic once. What does that mean? Also, that is expensive as crap. Holy wow. Um, does the guide say we have to use that at some point? No. Alright. Uh, will that reach both? No, so just use Sword Dance. I'm gonna focus one down until that one dies. Um, as soon as I say that. Uh, I'm gonna heal Nash again, because if, uh, if it's Kyle getting hit again, I think he'll be fine. Hopefully. Yeah, that's not going to both, so just do this. And Kyle is going to Sonic Riser. Good amount of damage there. Looks like that's hitting Jessica. For nothing. Jessica just absolute tank right now. Look at her. Thank you. I mean, a lot of that is uh, is because of Mia's efforts as well. But like, still. Explosive stab, riot. Uh, you can heal Kyle. Uh, Ice Geyser should hit both of them. And you can do Sonic Riser again. The one I've been focusing down should be uh, should be falling over pretty soon. Man, these guys are spongy though. Now well, that's gonna fall on Kyle and do no damage. That's kind of amazing. Man, that hit for another 400 and still nothing. Oh dear, what's going what's going on here? Uh, I feel like I don't necessarily need to get everyone to defend, but like, let's have everyone defend just to be safe. Yeah, that still, uh, that still inflicted a decent amount of pain. Oh, jeez, and it's happening again. If it happens a third time in a row, I think I might just try to power through it, because, like, we gotta get this fight going. Also, I have lost track of which one is the weak one. I think it's that one. Okay, it's not happening a third time in a row. You can 
riot. Why are you calm with me? Ice Geyser. Can okay, you power sweep? I think I'll hit both of them. Given everyone's position. There we go. Did they have a shared uh, shared health pool? Because I feel like they shouldn't have gone down at the same time unless they did. And dang way. 4,000 experience points, but you're still hungry. No levels. Alright then. Just as I have foreseen. You have grown stronger, Alex. Much stronger. You only seen the smartest part part of our power, Royce. Give up now. Give up? <laughs> Goodness no. We have quite a future ahead, you and I. But I'm afraid to say the present finds us going our separate ways. Wait! I almost forgot to share your fortune with you. The red light you pursue shall shine no more. And the great black arm shall seal them all, staining them with darkness. <laughs> oh, how I love to be the bearer of bad news. Farewell, children. She's trying to be brave, Alex, but I can sense her fear. She's afraid of us. The red light shall shine no more. You don't think she meant the red dragon, do you? We'd better find out. Uh, just for good measure, let's save. I don't think anything's gonna happen when we get in there, but as far as, you know, having to fight anything else. I feel like there should be a dragon here. It's so quiet and cold he in here, Alex. No one's been here for a long time. Red Dragon, come out! Come out wherever you are! Uh, please? He's not here. The Red Dragon couldn't be out shopping, right? Which means we might be... Too late? Mom, don't even think such a terrible thing. <laughs> Whoa! You who seek to undergo the Dragon Trial, my body has been stolen by the Magic Emperor. What? That old dragon? No, it's a lady dragon. That's why you look like... I have come to you in the spiritual form to impart knowledge to you. Also, I didn't know it was a lady dragon, so like... Anyway, let's tweak the voice accordingly, yes? It shall not be long until my soul fades from this place for all eternity. No. This is awful. Fifteen years ago, I began a long sleep. But I was awakened a short time ago by a song of tremendous magical power. A song of magical power? Alex, you have overcome my dragon trial. Your bravery was demonstrated when you crossed the wall of magic flame. Your power has been made evident, but it is not a singular power. You have the power to protect your loved ones and to destroy the evil of this world. The future, as Althena and Dine envisioned it, has been entrusted to you. Weary. The time has come for me to rest. Red Dragon! Shed not your tears for me, no. For you see, my soul is immortal, and one day shall 
again. The future yet to come. This is too horrible. I can't stop crying. Oh. Alex, it looks like the red dragon shield is shimmering. Oh man. You did it, Alex. You got the Red Dragon Shield. You're halfway to becoming the Dragon Master. Dragon Master. Well, that's something that we can equip now. Yes. Um. Probably still can't equip the Dragon Ring, though. And also, that's not the slot for a ring. Yeah, I know. I'm guessing I can only equip that once uh, we're actually the Dragon Master. Anyway, I think we're done here. We should probably return to Iluk. I'm glad that line was there, just to tell us to go back. Hmm, that's strange. Don't like the tone of your uh, don't like the tone of your voice, Jess. Uh, why pray tell are we floating down rather than up? Actually, it feels more like falling than floating. Don't panic. Everything is under control. Let me just press this button. Okay. Now we can panic. I knew this was a job for a man, not a woman. Alright, you don't need to be sexist. Even, even if you're about to die. It's not the time. My life is flashing before my eyes. Hold on. Alex, everybody. I'll see if I can soften the landing. Good talk. I'm glad that was animated for no other reason than just balloon do the spinny. At last, I have a big target! We've been waiting. Also, everyone is dead. Ready and lift! Huh. That didn't hurt as much as I expected. Speak for yourself. I heard plenty. Is everyone okay? What does it look like, Nal? We are the ones with wings. Wait, is this Reza? Ho oh, there! You're alive! As soon as I heard the crash and looked outside, I knew it was you kids. I'm just glad no and none of you got hurt. At least not badly. Actually, I think one of my wings is hyperextended. Just walks off. But I'm I'm not here to listen to a cat bird complain. Alex, you're back! Did you meet the red dragon? I see. Damn the vile tribe. So what happened to the to the air balloon? <laughs> I knew that crazy contraption was going to crash. <laughs> I'm not la laughing at you, of course. I'm glad you weren't hurt. Well, Alex, while you were making an impact crater in the middle of Reza, 
I heard that the bridge you destroyed in Marriott was fixed. First a bridge, then a balloon. <laughs> I'm sensing a trend. <laughs> it's time for you to cross over to the Stadius region, Alex, and to seek the blue dragon in his temple. All right. Well, we don't necessarily need to make the walk there. Let's just go straight to Marriott. Next, I will break you! I'm surprised you didn't use your emote there. Uh, now the guide that I'm looking at says that there are upgrades. I do not like everyone's tone of voice over here. Also, that's the same equipment that I currently have? Is there another shop here? We need a quick stop in the weapon shop and upgrade before leaving the canteens. In the weapon shop, so maybe there's different weapons. Which one is the weapon shop? I don't think this is the weapon shop. Doesn't look like a weapon sign. I mean, we got a lathering. We could buy another one, but uh, we're still kind of saving up for uh, for the stuff that Ramus is selling. Uh, I think we're good on these items. 62 healing fruits? Jeez. Oh, this weapon shop. Yeah, I don't think we had access to this before. An ear baloney? A baloney is wonderful on sandwiches. I mean, yes, baloney is delicious. Yeah, sure enough. Um, do, do, and do. Although I was gonna spend like the majority of the money that I build up, which ain't great. I'm sure I got something for you. Oh, there it is. Surgeries. Has them stuff for you. Warrior sword for you. Everyone nice and equipped. Come back soon. I sure will. Never comes back again. Some lake north of here. Found some weird folks singing funny. Um, so yes. This is, uh... We got a couple of locations here. This is where we need to go. There's also Tamer Pass, and then there's the Forbidden Woods. I'm gonna give you a preview of what's here. I'm also gonna give you a hint. We're not actually staying here, and there's a very good reason for that. So powerful that you can't even scratch them.
Let me demonstrate. Okay, well maybe we're, we're able to, to make a dent in these guys. But, um, look at how hard they hit, and the fact that they hit twice. As you can see, this is very much not a good idea. Let's get out of here. Wow, you left them for dead. As it turns out, they're still with us. So something, something, and all did it. What is that awful noise? Sounds kind of like a song, but whoever's playing it has a serious case of tone deafness. Do you think stuffing shards of glass in my ears would help to stop the bleeding? What are you people talking about? This song is great! In fact, I'm gonna sing along! Blech. Thanks, Kyle! Now my ears and my nose hurt. Alright, that's quite enough of that, Kyle. Have you no shame? Welcome to the town of Lighton. That's no use. I've been trying to sing since I moved here, but I have the voice of a horse chipmunk. Everyone here has been patient, but I can tell they want to cover their ears when I open, whenever I open my mouth. I am not. I love fish. Hmm, maybe I was right. Singing is a lot harder than it seems. Boring, boring, boring! What a sing! But yes, uh, the entire thing about uh, about the the uh, music in this area, the music is actually diegetic. Like, um, it's what this will be explained very shortly. But um, they have something called the singing rocks. Uh, which, when the wind blows through them, it's supposed to create a very lovely tune, but that tune is a little um, off-key right now. And actually, like, the mu the music in the remake here is actually not that bad. Like, it sounds, oh, it, it sounds very much uh, more distorted in the, um, in the PlayStation version. I don't think I'm going to be able to uh, afford all of this. Well, no, just barely not. Ninety-seven. Yes, I want ninety-seven warrior armor. So I think I'm going to give the warrior helmet to Alex because. Uh, uh, Kyle is getting the warrior shield.
And there's something for you. There we go. Rainbow on it. And now we're broke. So much for ever affording uh, Ramus a shop. Some of the wind and the earth are at odds. Oh my. I don't know that praying is really going to do anything, yeah? Uh... Uh, probably the Vile Tribe, if I had to guess. Ah, uh, ex-wife jokes. Cool. I'm not too worried about the monsters. Okay, so I guess we need to get permission to enter the shrine. Okay. My green-eyed friend, I have waited many cycles of the blue star for your arrival in Lytton. But you have come at the worst possible time. None of us can sing. None of us can express our joy. He's talking to you like he knows you, Alex. Alex, so that is your name. He never learned it in our dreams. Do you hear that awful music, Alex? Of course you do. Is coming from the Wind Shrine, our ancestors built in the heart of the windswept valley near the village. Our song is the melody of the wind, and the wind which flows through the valley is the Earth Song of Lytton. Of Lytton, whatever. <laughs> Monsters have appeared in the shrine and affected the music, and we don't have the resources to fight them. This village has lived in peace since it was built hundreds of, year hundreds of years ago. We know nothing of combat. A kip a cave fell with monsters? You already cleaned out a few of those, haven't you, Alex? Yes, he has. I'm sure he could clean this one out, too. Why do you seem so, like, crestfallen about this? But we don't have time to waste... Uh, to, we don't have to waste time slaying mangy monsters for a hapless bunch of lounge singers. Not when we still don't know where to find the blue dragon. Ah, just as in the dream, you seek to become the Dragon Master. You don't need to find anywhere to find the blue dragon, Alex. We are ex we are its protectors. He can be summoned only during our festival, but without our song, we can't be, uh, we can't get festive about anything. <laughs> that makes our choice a whole lot easier. So what do we do next, old man? There's an entrance to the shrine on the east side of the village. Go inside and explore until you find the place where our song is created. Restore it and return here. Alright, story flag activated. Alright, let's get into the wind shrine here. This can be a frustrating dungeon to tackle without a, walk a walkthrough as it requires a lot of trial and error. Please follow the instructions carefully. 
Okay, head east to the end. But yeah, just for the sake of not having to, like, run through everything everywhere all at once, I'm just gonna follow the guide. And it will also tell us where to find the boxes for this dungeon. And Alex levels up and gets a third attack! Mmm! Love to see it. Anyway, go north and the ground will collapse. Uh, enter the hole to drop again once we're done with this counter and probably the other one. Brain Picker, good. Also, I didn't want to do uh, everyone attack. Operation Ballroom Blitz, one might say. One is what I was looking for. Mmm, three delicious attacks. Love to see it. Meanwhile, friggin' Kyle get getting eaten alive and then brain bombed. Yeah, please. And that's more effective than it was in the in the volcano, but like You have attacks that hit everything, please use those. Okay, now we can use this one. Yeah, there we go. And Jessica levels up. And learns Banish Litany. Mia levels up. And learns Endow Weapon. Kyle levels up. And learns nothing. And gives us the Sage Road, which is something for Only Nash? Looks like Only Nash. Yeah. Alright, and that takes us back to the beginning. This time go north, veering east toward the split. Interesting that the ants are um, defaulting to target uh, Kyle. Thank you. Yes, there we go. Use those AoEs.
And we get holy water. And we also get a back attack. Yeah, they really like Kyle. Oh, that ain't great. Oh, and they're doing it again. Eh, that's, uh, that's really not that great. Maybe heal everyone there, Jess. I don't like this attack. Maybe that's a hot take, or maybe that's just something real obvious to say. Starlight, Nash levels up. Good times. Anyway, there's a hole here. There's a hole in the bottom of the sea. I go north and drop in the hole. Is it just me or are these dungeons getting more and more obnoxious with their enemies. Hey, there we go. Blizzard did everything. Double crit. That's my girl. Remember everyone, you can pick your friends, you can pick your brain, but you probably shouldn't pick your brain honestly. <laughs> And definitely don't let anyone else do it unless they're a trained professional. What's in the box? Another starlight. Amazing. See if I can juke some of these for once. Now I'm just thinking of the one penny arcade strip. Oh jeez. Now I'm just thinking of the one penny arcade strip where um Gabe is like trying to figure out what exactly a mind flare is. And Tycho's response is Imagine a mind. Now flay that shit.
Okay. Um. Oh crap. Get out of there, you friggin' ant. That hole is where I need to fall. Into the hole south. Yeah, I also used to read Penny Arcade forever ago. 5,000 money is... Okay, back at the start, go north via west. Ah. Yeah. Ha ha. And you go north via west. Instead of dropping the lost hole, you may carefully walk under it to the east. Avoid the next patch of crack ground you see to the north and continue east through the tight space. Use the word to define the word? Wait, which word should I use to define which other word? Or do I need to define a word by using itself? Yeah, I guess that depends on what your definition of the word is, is. Yo. And now I want to go play Puzmo. Uh, let's see. Then we want to go north. I hesitated and ended up being hobgoblined. Exit the room, you'll be instead of being back at the start, you'll be in a different place. At least a few steps and you're gonna crumble. On the lower level, exit north. It appears the wind is blowing through the holes and making musical tones. I think calling those notes musical might be stretching it a bit. Well, it's up to us to fix that. I bet, if we, I bet if we push these rocks in front of the holes, we'll change the tune. But which holes do we cover and which do we leave open? Well, let's stop blabbing about what might work and try something. Why don't we just try push uh, try to push some rocks and see what happens? And so. If 
four black triangle shaped openings. I think I blocked off the wrong two. It's kind of interesting, like these, uh, there we go. Hey Alex, is it me or is the music a little better? Really? It still sounds awful to me. No, it's different. I think we've almost got it right. Let's keep trying. But yeah, in order to move these, you have to like move into them and hold cross. Ah, what beautiful music! We fixed it, Alex! Sounds so lovely! And it's definitely worlds apart from the braying voice of someone I need not mention. Why don't you just shut up and get out of my face? Okay. That's it. That should take us back to the start, and we can just leave. All right, it looks like I'll be able to meet the blue dragon. Let's go tell the elder, Alex. It's nice, not worth the five days it took me to travel here, but nice. But yeah, it is definitely sounding a little more... Um, Coherent, I guess. Poke the dead monsters in the shrine with the stick. Why? Oh, my dear, my green eyed friend Alex, you have brought the earth back, uh, the earth song to us. Ah, you have brought back the earth song to us. Now the festival can begin. We will sing songs of praise to your name for this great deed. Walk north to Litton Lake, Alex. The Blue Dragon Temple rests beneath its placid surface. During the festival, the Blue, De the Blue Dragon Temple will appear before the two who offer up a song filled with love. The song of two lovers is the key to revealing the Blue Dragon Temple? How wonderful! How romantic! Maybe this is what I've been yearning for. Well then, let's go to the lake and sing. Why? What is Nash so excited about all of a sudden? <laughs> Please remove yourself from this path. I need to leave. What are you doing, child? Thank you. Heal up. Song has returned to Latin. Joint has returned to our souls. Today is a festival of song to savor the harmony we thought was lost. And we owe all of this to you. The bank of this lake looks like a, looks like a fine place to croon. Remember that two that the two lovers have to think of each other as they're singing. Come on, Kyle, let's sing. I don't know if I'm up for this, Jess. My throat's feeling kind of raw from all my battle cries. Shut up and get over here. Yeah, I'm sure this will end up going great.
flawless. What was that, Kyle? Did you suddenly forget that? Did you suddenly forget you're supposed to be singing, not gargling? That was not your best effort. Hey, what do you mean? You're the one who couldn't who couldn't harmonize if your life depended on it. Harmony? You call your your multitude of Sasquatchian groans harmony? More like excruciating pain. I don't think this is working, Alex. Not at all. If Jessica and Kyle can't raise the temple, what do we do next? Uh, so, uh, Mia, why don't we uh, try singing together? Really, Nash? Oh, all right. But I don't have very much confidence in my vocals. I think we've established the uh, the concept of like white boys can't sing. Nash, why are you so nervous? I thought your feelings for Mia were pretty obvious. Uh. I'm so sorry, Nash. I told you my voice was horrible. Oh no, Mia, it's all my fault. I'm just too nervous to sing. What do you do now, Alex? We're never going to see the temple is singing like this. If Luna were here to sing with you, Alex, the temple would surely appear. But... Alex, I have an idea. Why don't you play your ocarina? I know its melodic tones will reach Luna no matter how far apart you are. Well... I mean, I got nothing else. I know. I know. Let's all sing with Luna. If we sing, we won't be afraid. And we will cry. Quiet, all of you. I demand it. Stop this noise I'm singing at once. You insolent little... attempt to control their fears. I almost pity them, sisters. Pity them? Why is that, my sister? Don't you feel the, pow the power of this song as it stirs the depths of your very soul and the warmth? which flows from the human heart. Yes, sing. I wait in anticipation as each note brings you closer to your awakening as your true self. And on that glorious day, your voice will be the prelude which marks the beginning of my eternal dominion. Reminds me of all the times that the text went too long. Or too short. One of the two. Anyway, something's happening.
That's ominous. You did it, Alex. The melody from your Karina reached Luna. I knew the two of you felt the same way about each other. I heard her singing, though, and I felt her. It must be wonderful to be so deeply in love as Alex and Luna. I only wish a certain handsome barbarian would realize I feel the same way about him. Hey, Jess, can I join the rest of us, or are you going to stay here to work on your vocals? Another word out of you, and I'll be using my face to work on your... <laughs> You'll be using your face to work on my left jab. Why don't you ever notice my feelings, Kyle? Maybe because of the whole, you know, bravado front that you put. And dying way. We have a blue dragon to visit. And this one's not saying that it's um, very confusing, so I'm just going to uh, do this myself. Has anyone seen the staircase? I'm afraid I haven't. It doesn't seem as though magical seal is present either. You think this pool of water connects us somewhere, Alex? There's only one way to know for certain, though. Splooge! God dang it. Aqua Genie. Excellent. And this is, uh, this is definitely gonna be, um, Nash's time to shine. And I'm just I'm not just talking about the flashing lights. Thank you. Man, it is great to have three attacks. Got two starlights. Blue. Hey, Hompson. Thank you. I feel like uh, Mia's auto commands tend to like. use the wrong elements. I don't know if that's by design or not. Anyway, Chiro's Tail, what does that do? Uh, that looks like it is equipment, actually. Where is it? Did I just miss it? There it is. Agility up. Uh, how much agility are we talking here? 
10 points and also two defense. I give that to Alex. Luge. And a dragon armlet. Actually, am I going to be giving that to, to Alex? No, I am not. I'm going to be giving that to Mia. All for a wedding wisdom worth. I mean, unfortunately, that means that Alex is not uh, equipping Luna's Bromide anymore. Um... Uh, this is this Vaporeon looking thing? I guess we're gonna find out. That does not look like a Vaporeon from up close. Let me tell ya. It's a Vaporeon gone wrong. Uh, let me tell you about Vaporeon Gone Wrong. Hey guys, did you know? <laughs> Zero knows what's up. Starlight. Yeah. But you only need to say that much of it. Yeah, exactly. Um. Wait, which one? Is, which one is attacking us? The deep slime. This makes me think of a of a sticker that I've seen on Telegram. Don't do it! But the internet! Walk away! Thank you. Alex levels up. We immediately get back attack from the other party. Man, I am really glad that I set up my button for the low contrast filter. I mean, I might not be using it as consistently as I really should, but at least it's there. Because this game definitely, uh, definitely enjoys its flashing lights a little too much. Oh, triple kill.
Then Angelica levels up, and so does Mia, and so does Kyle, and nobody has learned a damn thing. Spooge. God dang it. Overreached a little there, didn't you, Kyle? That's some pretty good damage, too. It's not quite enough to take that thing down, though. The razor quill. Oh, nice. Now she's down to exactly zero MB. Using a starlight, which at this point is fine. We're getting those off of battles now. As so, uh, as so demonstrated, Nash levels up anyway, so he gets full MP. So he just kind of wasted that. Uh, oh, geez. There are traps here. Good to know. But see, this is why I need to be able to use my stream deck in Linux. So that I can just turn that on and off without having to worry about anything else. And there is a program called uh, Open Deck, which uh, is supposed to be compatible with, with pretty much any uh, Stream Deck plugin. Lapis Tiara. Uh, do. That is for Jessica. Oh, that's actually really effective too, wow. Maybe I should have just let Alex do that the entire time. Thank you. Hey Tyrion, how's it going? Another starlight. And another angel ring. That's three of them now. Also, I somehow missed this, uh, oh. That was not the correct way anyway. Understood. See parts where I barely enough the old stuff in the case, but late enough I don't want to mess with the new ones. Understandable. Yeah, 
it definitely is a fair amount of work trying to uh, to put together a computer. I have most certainly done it more than once. And uh, this computer that I'm using now is probably like the most annoying one because the um... basically I had to find to figure out how the hell I was supposed to install the cooling block. And I think just that took me like several hours. And it's installed in a really janky way that I'm not worried that it's going to come off anytime soon. But I hope I never have to touch it again. <laughs> but not if you, have, you don't have good enough lighting from your lights. I mean, yeah, that's... You, you need to be able to see what you're doing. Starlight and antidote. Ah. Stuck on the geometry. 10,000 money is. Yum. Wait. Have I been this way? Oh, nice. I was like seeing a bunch of them die. I think this is the right way. Possibly. So many slime. It time for slime. You'd almost think you were. Uh, you'd almost think you're on Nickelodeon. For how much slime there is. Or alternatively, YTV, the Nickelode the Nickelodeon of Canada. That's incorrect. And yeah, Alex also landing on exactly zero MP. Thirty-seven. Now, if only he'd hit more than one unit. See, this is why I don't usually let um, 
Alex and Kyle uh, use like talent arts. So they just kind of spend everything that they have all the time and then just keep using uh, a bunch of starlights when they probably don't really need to. But also, this is a party of six enemies, so I don't want to really mess around too much. And when they do things like that, that's nice and effective. Ladies Bangle and an Angel's Tear. So the Angel's Tear is a revive. Let's see who the Ladies Bangle goes to. That goes to Nash. Wait, does it? Oh, I wasn't pointed on Nash. Oh, yeah, that's a pretty good upgrade, too. And since I'm in the subscreen, I probably should just use some starlights from the menu. I think we're at the end. It's so dark in here, I can barely see my paws in front of my face. Hello? Is anyone there? Wow, I guess that's a yes. The blue dragon is really pretty, Alex. I'm impressed. <sighs> That's been quite enough. Uh, hello there. This is one laid-back dragon. Hello, everyone. Well, if it isn't Lemia, what a pleasant surprise. Have you cut your hair? I... I don't mean to be rude, but I am Lemia's daughter, Mia. Really? Thunderation? That was a longer nap than I thought. So then, where is the goddess? Thought it was her song that woke me up. Then I remembered she wouldn't be able to do that anymore. Was that? Uh, sorry. I'm just rambling things which are of no concern to you. I have always talked way too much. Keeping secrets was never my strong suit. Roka and Lena always said that I should be careful about what slips out of my mouth as well. <laughs> Alex, those are the names of the ancient drag ma dragon masters. He seems a little suspicious, but he's definitely the real deal. I see that you have both the dragon wings and the shield in your possession. So from the looks of things, you have already met my brothers, the white, the white and red dragon. So the red dragon was... Hell? I'm confused. I mean, I, I, I don't mind if... Um... If there is some gender identity shenanigans going on, but like, the game should at least be consistent. Tell me, young man, who seeks to become a dragon master? What is your name? My name is Alex, and the white dragon is... Uh, let's save the small talk for later. 
Anyway, just being here means that you've already passed the trial. If you weren't qualified to be the Dragon Master, you couldn't even have entered the temple. The blue dragon helmet from uh, which you seek lies in the room before you. Okay, I've made a path to the helmet for you. Go on and receive it into your possession. But we have terrible news for you, blue dragon. The world is in grave danger. Ah, that's nothing new. The world has always been a place with ever-changing seasons of turbulence. We need a game where the blue dragon is red just because. Anyway, shake a leg and obtain your award, Alex. <laughs> I never thought I'd meet someone who talked as much as you know. So is that supposed to be some kind of compliment, or are you, or are you just being your obnoxious self? Damn. Alex, that shining light! Is it the helmet? This little victory theme. And we get the dragon helmet. You did it, Alex. Three dragons down, one to go. I wonder what's going to happen when you get the last piece of equipment. Oh dear. That doesn't sound great. Alex, that noise came uh, sounded like it came from the blue dragon lair. I have a bad feeling about this. Let's get back to where the blue dragon is now. But first, don that helmet. Let's pretend it's happening while we're running over there. Let me just save a little measure. What's going on? Where's the blue dragon? You're too late. He's already fallen into our hands. Oh, <laughs> I didn't realize it was Fascia. I should have expected to see you here, witch. After all, why should the Magic Emperor do his own dirty work when you're ready and willing to wall in the mud for him? Give up now, Fascia, and we won't have to hurt you. I don't understand why you're doing such a terrible thing. No, you wouldn't understand. You have no idea what it has been for, like for us to survive on the frontier. And you don't know what it, is, what it will take to turn the dreams of my people into reality. The frontier? The land to which Althena banished the Vile Tribe all those ages ago? We have a right to the life all, that Althena has denied us. But what does kidnapping Luna have to do with any of this? It's just not right what you've done to her. I... I'm sorry, but it was necessary for us to capture Luna and the other songstresses. I give you my word that she is unharmed, and will stay that way if you return home. Continue to interfere with the Emperor's plans, and you place her life in jeopardy. I don't know who's talking right now. It looks as though I've been a bit too careless for my own good. Oh, was it the soul of the dragon? Any time game. There we go. It's unthinkable that Galleon, who with dying swore allegiance to Alfina until the very end, commits such a dastardly act. Galleon, how could you be blinded by your own reasoning? How could you plot to shatter the dreams of the goddess and your loyal friend dying? 
Galleon, you mustn't awaken the Balthina. It will wreak havoc and destruction upon Lunar. Alex, Alex, can you hear me? Yes! Alex, I beg of you, become the Dragon Master. Protect the goddess from Galleon. It was 15 years ago. She forsook all her power. No! No! Alex, you can never forgive Galleon for what he's done. Never! I'm going to exact revenge for the dragons. For everyone, Galleon's hurt. No. Well, that is pretty much all we got for this area. I guess I can't use the return litany here. Maybe I have to... Oh, there we go. The dragons can't even stand up to the threat to the threat of the magic emperor. What are we supposed to do? And you know things are dire when even Nash doesn't have his uh, misgiven confidence. I guess we should probably talk to the Elder again. We all mourn the loss of the Blue Dragon, but we know his soul is eternal and we will meet again. We shall offer the solace to the soul we shall offer solace to the soul of the Blue Dragon as we continue to celebrate this festival today. Oh. I was hoping you would tell us where the where the last dragon is, but you know. Our, our options for movement are a bit limited right now anyway. We can either go to the Forbidden Forest, which um, we're not really strong enough for that yet. Or the other option... is uh, Temor Pass here, which looks like it's probably headed toward the frontier. Um, and that's about all we can do, so that's going to be our next move. And I know it's a bit early, but this really seems like the time that I should end the stream. It's kind of that, uh, that story beat to it. I mean, we were able to meet two of the dragon's challenges uh, this time, so all in all, I think that's a, that's a pretty good job for today. So yes, uh, thank y'all for watching. Uh, thank you to Alex, Zero, J-Pop, Jewel, Tyrion, and Ken for hanging out. The next scheduled stream is going to be on Sunday at uh, 8 p.m. or later, Atlantic Daylight Time. It is the Sunday Super Shuffle. We're going to do some more Archipelago shenanigans and possibly some more stream testing in Linux, if I possibly can. And that takes us around the week around the wheel to our next uh, long run stream next Tuesday at 9 p.m. Atlantic Standard Time. And we're going to continue our march toward the frontier and toward the final dragon and hopefully um, become a full-fledged dragon master. So that's going to do it. Thank you all for watching. I'm Coolio if you don't know. And I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>